You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence, Collision Specialists, 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. Real quick, I'm just reading a comment. Place. Charles Burt says, Wolfie D ticked me off. He what? never gave you credit last night with John Paz for helping him with a podcast. I didn't even know he was on, man. Thank you for that. Wow. Uh, Wolfie D snuck in a show between beers? <laughs> don't. Don't. Well, he's not an enemy. He's I not. didn't say he was. All right, all right. <laughs> what? He's, he's, he's a cool rocking dude. He likes his beer. What's the problem? Wow, everybody twists you know, everything. Cr God, tell Charles, me. What's I up, really, I, Charles, I really want to oh. thank you for alerting us to that because I had no idea he was yeah. on there. Um, you know, which, <laughs> we might as well share. Why not? Go you know, now you bring a Wolfie D in. So Wolfie D came here. He did yeah. a good show. I liked and it. He, uh, I thought it was funny. He did very well on yeah. the interview. Mm -hmm. He had a great time. Yeah. He wanted to be on the network. In the meantime, right. his partner, Jamie Dundee, had wrote the show. and Right. Trashed his partner, and I think yeah. he called him a drunk and yeah, he was a rough. bum and he was a million rough. other things. And we yeah. allowed Jamie to speak. And sure. You could catch that, he that was interview. Awesome. He was an excellent um, guest. On that. Yeah. Jay Will Wrestling says, as, well. as an indie tag team versus ISP. What happened? What would your finisher be? What was that? <laughs> He's at, Jay Will's asking as okay. an indie team as as an indie, indie tag team uh, versus what? Insane Clown Posse. What would your finisher be? What would be against our finisher? the Insane Clown Posse? Yes, I have no idea. How would we finish? Those guys are psycho. They're crazy. Come up with a finish. What would we finish it to finish off the clowns? Yeah, we'd hit them with a hose, and their makeup would come off. Oh they lose God. their special powers. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the finisher. Oh, our please. finisher would be Farrow would get to the top rope. Oh, he would do it. Is... Quadruple spin, twister, toe, toe tap, and then toe tap he's for done. the victory. And he's, he's done. done. It's an and AW finish. But back to Wolfie D. Yeah. So Wolfie D is doing a show, right. and uh, you know he also has his podcast. I forget the name of it. It's I think it's a Wolfie D podcast. Okay. But anyway, long story short, uh, Wolfie D became increasingly a problem, right? Because Wolfie <laughs> uh, was drinking a little too much, <laughs> and he was. And you gave me a hard time over my joke. Go ahead. <laughs> and he was, he was causing a few bit. I'm telling the truth, right? Yeah, no, you're he's not caused fibbing, a few bit of issues, and asking. then unfortunately, um, he evaporated. Unfortunately, his <laughs> girlfriend wrote me and said, "Please, no, don't stop." I Would not? you please? Do you want no, me to stop? Oh, that's free. Go ahead. <laughs> His girlfriend wrote me and said, hey, can you stop sending, because Wolfie earned money for being on the channel. Right, right, and she right. said, please stop sending him money because he's, he's drinking he's, it away. They, they had a special on Coors Light yeah. at the King Cullen. And we're not knocking Wolfie D, guys. Trust oh, me. Oh, please. And, and if he was on somebody else's show, God bless him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Wolfie D, we only wish him the best. Wolfie, Wolfie D's D. a perfect example he's, he's of hilarious, honestly. the wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's fair. This is a guy who had some limelight. Yeah, he sure he did. He loved it. Yeah, he sure and did. And sure when it did. went away... It's not easy, man. He and he said it wasn't easy. And he couldn't deal with it. Yeah, and Jamie said it too. Wasn't easy. You know? Mm. Business Maria, De Maria Davis says a standing suplex would the be our finisher. Suplex? He, who, who's doing it, Maria? You're going to do this? I, gotta, I can't Maria do it. Maria could be part of We call ourselves not the bloodline. We'll call ourselves. I want Maria to manage us. Yes. And like have foreign, like she'll bring a, a duffel bag filled with foreign objects because we're going to need every one of them. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, did you see Wolf, Wolfie D when he came out of retirement recently? No. Did he wrestle? Oh, boy. W w really? With no shirt no on. No toe tap? With no, no shirt on. No finishing toe tap? With no shirt on. With no shirt on. With no shirt on. That's, that's uh, too sexy for for the ring. Too sexy for the turnbuckle. Um, too sexy for... <laughs> it wasn't sexy. I'm it wasn't? This, no. It was hexy? <laughs> no. It was Inter like... Interesting. Yeah. In fact, tell the fans a story... Did you have to when, put shades on? Tell, tell the fans a story it. when you and I went to an independent room. Oh, you and one of your favorite wrestlers. This. Go ahead. Oh my lord. This we is were, that moment. We, oh my god, that was a horrendous moment. Well, we went to go see my hero, Greg Valentine. Boy, was I excited. And we saw him at like a fireman's place or something like that. Didn't we? Like the fireman's house right. or wherever it was. Right. And uh 
So, and we had obviously great seats because there must have been 10 people there. Yeah. So it was hard to not have a great seat. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? So here we are right in front of the ring, and there's my, my, my hero, Greg Valentine, my first favorite villain and my first wrestler that I truly could say, I love this guy. And he's standing there, and he's got the robe on, and, okay, so he's older. That's fine. It's Greg the Hammer Valentine. And then Mike goes, oh, no, please don't, as Greg starts to remove his robe. And he removes his robe. And you can fill in the rest because I love Greg. I don't want I don't and want Greg to get mad. That's at me. what we call a Wolfie D moment. Yeah, and, and then you were like, as he took the robe off, and I remember how your jaw was dropped, and you were like, Oh God, no. Yep. And I was like very depressed. So what that's what we'll call a Wolfie D moment. Yeah. Rick okay. B wants to know what happened to the sunny beach of Rob B. Sorry. Rob B wants Rob to know. Rob B. Yes. That, uh, there's a difference between Rick Rob? B and Rob B. Yes, uh, there is. Yes. Rick Allen, you know, a lot yeah, of times when we Sunny say, Beach. hey, you guys want to do a show, we people say Sunny they want to do it, and then they get a little cold feet. Uh, Sunny, Sunny's a oh, very... Stop. Sunny got cold feet? Is that what happened? I don't know. He's Sunny's just, like a... He's a dude. He's a no, man's man. No, it's not that he's not a man's man. I, I guess he's wrong. too busy. He's a smart businessman. He busy. He's very. He's a very he's good businessman. He actually owns a thoroughbred horse. Good man. Huh? He owns a thoroughbred horse. Yeah. Nice. So I don't know. Nice. Race my horse or do a, pod, <laughs> do a, pod, do a podcast yeah. on the Monty the Foul channel. I'll probably go with the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're up to the races. But then on the other hand, uh, do a podcast on the Monty the Foul channel. Or take your shirt off in front of ten people. Yeah, you might want to be doing a Monty and the Foul podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Wolfie Deep, maybe you should think Put about that. Put that away. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> maybe you should think about that. <laughs> That's rough. Okay. Indian police officer accused of raping a 13-year-old girl who oh, went to a station to report that she had been gang raped. A police officer in India has been arrested after being accused of raping a 13-year-old girl who went to a station to report she had been gang raped. The alleged incident of the latest to the spotlight. Well, because I'm just waiting for the reaction. Ugh. Of the highest level of sexual violence, violence in the world's largest democracy, where women are raped every 18 minutes at average. So, could you imagine? No. You go for help. No. I was raped, and then the person you go to help for rapes you again. What is going on? What is going on in India? This is bringing s snake in the basket to a whole new level. You ain't kidding. What is this though? Every raped every 18 minutes. Where the fuck are the police in India? Oh, that's right. They're raping. They're doing the raping. They're raping. This is a fucked up story. Where do you find this shit? This is this is truly evil. Is this can this possibly be true? Raped every 18 minutes on average? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Why do you give me this Drek? This is Drek. These people are scummy. Well, I like that word Drek. Yeah. This is this is I like know. that word Drek. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm fraught with nausea. Fraught. <laughs> we could stop <laughs> rape. We could stop rape in India. What? We can stop right How do we do that? Push a button? No, send, wo <laughs> send Wolfie D over there and have him take his shirt off. <laughs> oh, run! <laughs> They're all like taking off. Wait the a snakes in the basket are taking off. They're getting uh, out of the basket and taking off.